talks with them. And we have a dialogue every day with them. And oh, shucks. Fun. It was more fun the other way. Well, but... I'll pick a fight if you want. <laughs> I mean, I'd be happy to get into one. But I think uh, there will be others. We have differences. But, uh, but, Roger, it's not a question of picking a fight. Um, aren't you concerned about the language that Glenn Beck is using, which is, after all, inciting the American people. There's a lot of suffering out there, as you know. And when he talks about people being slaughtered, about who is going to be the next in the killing Well, he was talking screen. about Hitler and Stalin slaughtering people, so I think he was probably accurate. Also, no, no, I'm he a was little, talking I, about I, this administration. I, don't, I think he speaks English. I don't know, but I mean, I don't misinterpret any of his words. He did say one unfortunate thing, which he apologized for, but that happens in live television. So. I don't think it's, uh, I think if we start going around as the word police uh, in this business, it will be... Uh, it's not uh, about the word police, it's about something deeper. It's about the fact that there's a tradition, as the historian Richard Hofstadter said, in American politics, of the paranoid style. And the paranoid style is dangerous when there is real pain out there. I mean, with... I agree with you. I read something on your blog that said I looked like J. Edgar Hoover. I had a face like a fist. And I was essentially a malignant tumor. Well, that, and I thought, and then he that got was nasty never after by that. anybody that we then approved. Then he really went them. nasty, and I thought, gee, maybe Ariana had to cut this out. But no, well, Roger, well, you know, why we are talking that. about that? The